Making a giraffe is a more advanced pipe cleaner project, but I break it down in an easy step-by-step -step process. For this project, you will need eight yellow pipe cleaners, one brown pipe cleaner, a pencil, a paintbrush with a thin handle, fingernail clippers, googly eyes, and thick white craft glue. We'll start with the head. Use one of the yellow pipe cleaners and just fold a tiny ear at the end, just about a quarter of an inch, just one fold down. Hold the ear up against the skinny pipe cleaner and wrap the pipe cleaner around in a coil. One coil right on top of the other until you get, till you have a half inch left and fold the other ear up at the top. Remove the head from the paintbrush and set it aside for now. Next we'll make the body. So with another yellow pipe cleaner, wrap it around a pencil, coiling it one coil on top of the other, but making it about an inch long. So we're going to use four pipe cleaners total, one on top of the other, wrapping around and around to make the thick body, ending up to be about an inch long. Make sure that you tuck the ends in well at the beginning and the end so that it all stays together. So this is pipe cleaner number three. Round and around, your coils are gonna get bigger and bigger as you go. Tucking in those ends. And the final fourth pipe cleaner Tuck in the end, around and around, and make sure that that final end gets tucked in very securely because you don't want the whole thing to come uncoiled. Remove it from the pencil and set it aside. With another yellow pipe cleaner, we're going to make the nose and the neck. So make a small coil at the end of the pipe cleaner slightly oblong. So this is the end of the giraffe's nose. Bring the rest of the pipe cleaner behind and straight down like so. So thread the pipe cleaner down through the front of the head so that the nose is at the end and then you can bend that into place and turn it slightly up. Now, thread the long part of the pipe cleaner through the body, and you want the neck to be a few inches long, not too long, because you want your giraffe to be able to stand up. So mine is about three inches long, and then you want to leave a one inch tail at the end, so clip it off with the fingernail clippers. Now we're gonna work on the neck, so remove the body piece from that long pipe cleaner. And with the piece that you just cut off from the tail, Hold it up against your skinny paintbrush again and wrap it in a spiral this time like a spring. One coil just right next to the other one from top to bottom and then remove it from the paintbrush handle and then thread it onto the tail and up onto the neck. Then you want to spread out the spiral so that it covers the neck from the top of the head down to the um, joint where you bent it to fit into the body. So we're just giving the neck a little bit of extra girth and reinforcement. Now thread the tail back into the body, but have the tail piece come out through the top two spirals at the end of the body, and this will help secure everything in place and then bend the tail down. To make the front legs, take another yellow pipe cleaner, fold it in half, thread it through one of the front coils on the underside of the giraffe, and then bend each side up about two inches, two and a half inches, Long. We don't want our legs to be too long because hopefully we want our giraffe to be able to stand up. So right at the bend, form a little foot, just make a little circle, and then wrap the end of the pipe cleaner, the leftover pipe cleaner, back up around the leg in a spiral just to give it some extra strength. 
When you get to the top of the leg, if you have extra, just come back down a little ways and, and tuck in the end. Now do the same thing with the other side. Form a little foot at the bend in the pipe cleaner and then wrap the extra all the way up to the body. Now follow the same process to make the back legs. When you're finished, turn the feet up so that they sit flat against the surface and then make adjustments so that your giraffe can be freestanding. It takes a little bit of finagling, but you should be able to get it to stand up. Cut a small piece of your brown pipe cleaner to make the horns. So I've cut about three quarters of an inch and I've fold it in half into a V and run it through a top coil on the head between the ears. You can trim it if necessary, but you want to center it a little bit forward between the ears. Now you want to add um, some trim detail on the tail. So cut about an inch and a half of the brown pipe cleaner. Hold it off center on the back of the tail. Wrap the longer part around a few times to cover just the very end of the yellow. And then um, you can trim the very ends of that so it just looks like a little bit of brown fur at the end of the tail. Now we'll make a few brown spots. So take your brown pipe cleaner and make a coil. Just roll a flat coil as big as you want your spot and then cut a little quarter inch stem Bend it down so that it sticks straight out from the back and insert it between the coils on the body of your giraffe. Just two or three should do the trick. The last step is to glue on some googly eyes. Use a thick white craft glue. Press the eyes into place. And when the glue is dry, your giraffe is finished. Please subscribe to my channel for more pipe cleaner crafts and other ideas. There's new videos every week so you don't want to miss one.